Hi, my name is Alessandro Gandolosi and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for my cookie. This time I like to see something related to uh, film effects again and uh, I like to have a, slick, uh, a little uh, sneak peek about the new preview window in uh, uh, film effects 3.0. So you see there I have a really simple scene and that's a number launched by a character from uh, a video game I am working on, I worked on some weeks ago. So you see there are just the ends actually and then we have the the hammer going away. I like to have um, a smoke uh, going uh, all, uh, all, uh, all away from the hammer during the, the launch and we we'll use the uh, the viewport there, the new viewport, and I like to have also maybe just some imp simple objects there, just to say that we have something inside the scene uh, and the other stuff there. This one there, object properties, all renderable. Okay, so let's go there. Let's go for film effects and let's open the preview. Uh, this is the new preview viewport and the preview viewport has new uh, feature. Uh, let's see uh, actually how we, uh, we can use it. I'm going to make the calculation. You see it's maybe not so much fast so we'll try to have a lower quality just to be faster inside the simulation. You see this cre uh, creating the smoke all around the hammer, and then it will follow the hammer. Obviously, the quality for the simulation will be not so high. Okay, I stopped the recording to see the simulation later. Okay, the simulation is ready, and we can see it together. You see that it is created with the smoke and everything is going in the right way. Uh, you know, the good thing is that actually everything is in real time. So we can rotate the viewport there and you see that we have the smoke rotating in real time inside the film effects output preview. Let's go there to undo. Okay. Then the new uh, stuffs I like to see are there. You know that usually we had always the possibility to have a better quality or a lower quality so you see it will be faster or slower but with an high high-end machine it will be faster in this way too. But if you go there at 3 you'll have a good compromise between speed and quality. Then uh, you see that there we have the possibility about uh, using the draft or not or use the shadows or not but you see that actually there we have no possibility to, to open. And that's why in the preview menu you see that there let's imagine that we have this one closed you see that there we have the possibility to open or close the preview then you see that we have the export preview during simulation so that means that in the uh, simulation we will have uh, a calculated uh, preview save it as uh, maybe uh, a move file format or a single still for the frames uh, you can obviously make the preview also uh, now so let's check sorry the simulation and we have 140 300 okay so make preview 140 299 you have to playback speed and every how much frames you like to have uh, uh, a key you can choose the path and now it is using the 
preview path for 3ds Max and the codec. Let's say OK. And you see that now it is using the film effects viewport to create a preview. I stopped the recording so it, it, we can see later the result. And you see now I just opened the preview. We can send to play. And you see that we have a rendered preview just for the small uh, the smoke layer, so just the film effects stuffs. And that's a really interesting way, so you have not to prepare uh, a rendering to see how it looks. Then you see that we have other uh, possibilities. We have obviously the possibility to play, uh, and it will open the file. And we have the possibility to change the output path. But more important, we have the possibility to use the GPU. Using the GPU, uh, it will give you the possibility to use the GPU to calculate the smoke there and you see we have the possibility to make the same calculation and it will be it is faster than using the main hardware to calculate the smoke there and we have the possibility now to use the shadows and the objects if I say to use the shadows, you see that now we have also the shadows there and you can see the difference there, you see? The most important thing is that it is able to calculate the smoke uh, and the fire shadows but just for the first light you have there so if you have more lights uh, they will be not used and it is just something uh, really useful because you can have a better preview, something really similar to the final render but really really much faster. And you see that we have another op uh, possibility and that's the objects. So we are saying to the, uh, to the scene to use also the object there. You have just to remember some, uh, some little things, you see that actually we see just the smoke and that's why we have not the objects there. Obviously, uh, the preview will not render all the objects you haven't seen, but just the objects you will add there to the simulation. So if I add, for example, the gloves, the ends, and I add those boxes, you see that everything is added to the main rendering. And the same if I add there you see that I'm adding the object that will be rendered and let's add also this one so now we have the right render in the viewport and that's really really interesting and the quality is really good so that's uh, a really simple things that can be used to make some really interesting things and have a better workflow and to speed up the smoke look development. So for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye.